today we are going to make a pumpkin out of clay. But let's look at our pumpkin here that we have in the classroom. We have some curvy lines here that are also vertical. Can you say vertical? And they go from top all the way to the bottom. And we're going to make that design with our clay today. Let me show you the awesome little pumpkin we're going to make today. And he also has vertical lines that go all the way down. My pumpkin also has a stem. And it's a curvy stem. It also twirls around. Do you see how that twirls? So cool. We're going to make the body of our pumpkin and the stem attached to the top. So cool. I just wanted you to get a really cool look at it. it almost looks like I have a star at the top too. This is a great example of a nice pumpkin that we're going to make today to incorporate it with our artwork. And this is gonna be a thumb pumpkin, so he's gonna fit right on our thumb. All right, let's get started. This lesson, we are going to be using clay. At home learners, you can use air dry clay to complete this lesson and paint it with regular paint or markers. Hello artists! Today we are going to make a thumb pinch pot pumpkin. I am so excited to start working with some clay. Now this is what my pumpkin looks like when he's all done. Our pumpkin is not done yet. He still has to get fired in the kiln. So, I'm going to show you how we're going to get him to look like this today. And you can make more than one. We're also going to draw his face. So, everything's going to stay on your plate, okay? And I'm going to show you what you have to use. You're going to have a plate and then a napkin. And that's where all of your pieces of clay stay on. Miss Z will also write your name. I'm just going to write Miss Z on mine so I know that this is my plate because at the end of class this is what your plate's going to look like when you are done. So I'm just going to go ahead and start creating. So you have a piece of clay. Now this is a big piece of clay. I want you to get a smaller piece. So I'm just going to tear them in apart until they're two pieces. Now I'm gonna keep one piece in my tray and the other piece I'm gonna bring on to my table. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a nice roll. I'm gonna take my hands and in the palm of my hand, I'm just gonna roll it like a meatball on my table. It's okay if some clay gets on the table. We will wipe it up later. All right. Now I have a nice ball of clay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that ball of clay and I'm gonna take my thumb. I want you to give me a thumb up when you're ready because we're gonna take it and we're gonna stick it burp, right on my thumb. Now I have some clay on my thumb. Oh, that's just silly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually mold this clay around my thumb. I don't want my thumb to pop out. I'm just gonna mold it around. That's gonna help me get the shape of the pumpkin. See how it already kind of looks like a pumpkin? Just gonna mold it around. Not too tight because I'm gonna have to take this off eventually. Now, I'm gonna get my pinchers. Can you get your little baby pinchers? And I'm going to pinch the top. Then I'm going to turn it to a side that I have not pinched yet. I'm going to pinch the top again. I'm going to keep pinching the top until I get 
a stem for my pumpkin. Look, the stem's starting to come through. I can even give it a little, just a little twist. Because if you look at the stems of my pumpkins, they have a nice, cool little twist on it. I'm just going to give it a little twist. I'm being very gentle with my clay. It's a little baby pumpkin. We need to be very gentle with him. Okay, then I can kind of smooth out the sides. Okay, I'm going to start smoothing them out. Right. Now that I have a nice smooth pumpkin, I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my thumb out, and I can see that there's a hole now, and that my pumpkin is starting to really come together. I'm just gonna make sure my pumpkin sits flat. Now he sits pretty good. I'm just gonna give him a little tap, 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 tap. Just a little taps, guys. Just little baby taps. So now it's flat on the bottom. So when it sits, it doesn't roll around. Now that your pumpkin looks like a pumpkin, I can keep him on my thumb if I wanna work on him. And I have a tool here I can use to draw on my pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some lines that go straight down my pumpkin. And I'm going to turn it and make some more lines that go straight down. And I turn the pumpkin, make some lines that go straight down. These are called vertical lines. Can you say vertical? some little baby texture lines, some little baby vertical lines at the top where my stem is. Maybe I want to make some more lines on my stem. Now we're working on our vertical lines. I can even kind of mold my stem a little bit more to the way that I want it to be. Maybe I want to add some more vertical lines. Now I'm just drawing those vertical lines that go straight up and down on my pumpkin. Awesome, my pumpkin looks wonderful. If you want to, you don't have to. Maybe on your second pumpkin, because we're going to make two of them. You can make a face on your pumpkin if you want to. And I can do that with my tool. I just push in. I can do two pushes in. There's a there's a triangle for one eye. I can push in. And then another push in to make another triangle. Oh yeah, look, it's really coming together. And I can give him some zigzag mouth. I just Kind of push my tool into the pumpkin. If that's too hard for you, I want you to just leave it the way it is or try your best. I'm not drawing it, I'm just pushing in my tool and kind of turning my tool. And if I don't like something, I can always just kind of cover it again and just kind of blend it down, but I really like my pumpkin's eyes. I'm gonna go get it back again. Super cute. When my pumpkin is done, again, I'm gonna give him a little tap, 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 so he stands nice, and I'm gonna put him on my tray. Now I might wanna make another pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. Remember, we roll it around on the table first. So I have a nice big ball. Now if it's too big, you can always make it smaller by taking some away. Now I'm gonna take up my thumb because my thumb's up and ready and I merp, stick it right on my thumb. And then I just mold it around my thumb. Um, 
Now this side looks a little messy. I can mold and push some of my clay around to how I want it to be. And we can work on that later when we tap, tap, tap it away. This one's gonna be a bigger pumpkin. I can tell because it is more clay. So remember, once I'm ready, I pinch the top, I turn and pinch, and I keep pinching and molding until I get a long piece of clay at the top. This is my stem. Remember, I can always twist it, but don't let it fall off. And I can kind of nicely take my finger and make sure that it doesn't fall off by kind of blending that down. And remember, we smooth out the pumpkin so it's nice and smooth. So we're ready for our vertical lines. So then I'm go when I'm done, I'm gonna get that up off my thumb. Now I noticed that if I put his this guy down, he falls right over, doesn't he? So I'm gonna tap, 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 tap him on the table. Tap, 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 tap. And now he stands much better. Much better. Might even want to smooth that out a little bit. We'll do that again. Tap, 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 tap. Now he stands much better. I can put him back on my thumb when I'm ready or leave him on the table. And remember, we're gonna get our tool and we're gonna draw a vertical line that goes straight down the middle. Also again, make tiny, baby vertical lines by where my stem meets my pumpkin. Or make some long vertical lines on my stem. Now that pumpkin number two is done, I can decide, do I want to give him a face or do I want to leave him the way he is? But I kind of really like the funny faces. I'm going to give them a face. So remember, I take my piece of wood carver and I just make an angle on it and boop, there's one eye. And then I go the opposite direction. Boop, there's a triangle. And then in the next area, I'm going to find a nice area. Here's my second triangle. And I'm gonna give him a triangle for a nose. Now I'm gonna give him some zig zag mouth. And I just go up and down and up and down. Oh, he looks a little bit scarier than the last pumpkin. I can also just make a straight line. Let's see how Mizzy can make a straight line. I'm just gonna smooth this over because I want to try something else. So just if I don't like something, I can just smooth it out. Kind of press it down. So let's see, this time I'm going to make a straight line. Just so make a straight line that goes right across by pushing in. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. If I make two straight lines, I can make it look like his mouth is open. Totally up to you guys. He looks a little spookier. I can give it a tap, tap, tap on the table. All right, now I have two pumpkins. And I can see which one I like better. You can tell one is bigger and one is smaller. 
I hope you guys have a lot of fun creating your pumpkins and you can wear it on your thumb. Now it's like a little finger puppet. One little pumpkin sitting on a gate. Others one said, oh my, it's getting late. It's like you wanted, there are witches in there. <laughs> Third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. Fifth one said, we're ready for some fun. Ooh, with the wind and out with the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. You are all done. Mazie's going to give you a wipey for your hands and the table. So my hands are very, very messy. So I can go ahead and wipe my hands. And then also wipe the table. I'm gonna keep my pumpkins on the pumpkin, tr the tray here. And I'm gonna also leave my tool there so Mizzy can clean it. I will come and collect your pumpkins and your artwork at the end of class. Great job, everybody.